have a wooer over there like woo woo. I love it. Love you. Okay. If you're on the hunt for some creative ways to share the joy with some bunny this Easter, Lynn Wilson, the author of At Ease, A Salute to Creative Entertaining, has some excellent ideas for us. Please welcome her to the show this morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Now's the time for the wooing. Yes. Woo. -hoo. Lynn, uh, like me, you spent some time in the military in terms of being, your husband was in the military, my dad was in the military, so we moved a lot, and you found a way to connect to your new neighbors was to entertain. That's absolutely right, and that's, I mean, there's nothing better than having food to bring people together for some friendship and camaraderie. Yeah, so and a party. your book, which I love because it's very easy, the pictures are great, and the stories are great, and so your book, At Ease, uh, kind of has, you know, two meanings to it. We know in the military, it's a military term, At Ease Soldier, right? Exactly. But it's easy things that you can do quickly. Exactly right. I, you know, I, when we got out of the Army, I was a little concerned because it didn't seem like people were entertaining as much. And mm -hmm. I thought, well, maybe they think it's hard or difficult. And I knew it didn't have to be any of those. So I took all the recipes that we collected over those 38 years from friends and family and party ideas and put them into an entertainment cookbook yeah. with parties and recipes. You know, it's interesting. You look at the old movies and stuff and the Mad Men and the whole bit. And there's the cocktail parties at people's houses and the whole bit. It seems like we've gotten kind of away from that. We'll entertain out someplace else, but then we come home and kind of cocoon. Exactly. And this is a way of bringing people back uh, together and entertaining. Okay, let's start with some of your really cool ideas for Easter, like this right here. Well, and this is a, uh, a fruit pizza, and it's in my cookbook. But, you know, what's fun about this is it's something that you can change around for the different holidays. So uh -huh. I, this for this, and I, what I, we really enjoy doing things with our grandchildren. I have seven of grandchildren, so every holiday we cook and do crafts together. So this is one that we did shaped like an Easter egg. You know, so this is a fun, healthy dessert yeah. kind of sort of there's a little sugar but um, you just take what's fun is that's just that rolled um, cookie dough, dough uh -huh, uh -huh. and you unroll it and put it in whatever shape you want and it was interesting because yesterday when I went to get it my grocery store didn't have the roll all they had were those little individual ones uh -huh. that you take. and I thought oh no but it worked beautifully so either one will work shape the dough however you want it and what's your sauce well I, I, after you, uh, yes, after you bake it and it cools down, this is just cream cheese and just a little mm, bit of sugar. Okay. And then you just layer whatever fruits you like on top of it. And then that's um, orange marmalade and a little water Ooh, for nice. a glaze. So that's a sweet one. You could do a savory one with vegetables it, yes, as well. Yes, there's also a vegetable pizza yeah. also in there. All right. So that's fun. Now, this is one of my favorite so desserts cute. that I that I do. This is an ice cream flower pot. And it's so simple because you just take some ground up Oreo cookies Okay, this is your dirt, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and then just take whatever ice cream you like and scoop it down in here, okay? And what's not, again, this is something your children and grandchildren can do and would love to do, okay? And then what you do is you get some um, crushed up Heath bars. Ooh. Put them on, you can put some chocolate sauce or caramel if you want, you know, do however you want. Put this in again to look a little bit like dirt. And what's fun about this, then you just take a little piece of a straw, stick it down into it almost all the way down so you really can't see it. Now you can put that in the freezer. It's good to go for a week, two weeks before your party. Oh, wow. And then when you take it out for the party, I usually um, put a fresh flower in, but hey, it's Easter, right? Right. So I took a little ribbon and hot glued gun some Easter ribbon. And how, how cute are these for kids? Oh, wow. Just take one of those little marshmallow. Is wow. that not so cute? And you're saying, like, how cute is it for kids? I'm thinking, how cute is it for adults, too? Yes. Okay, how many of you do the ears first? I'm going to do the ears first. <laughs> uh, oh, look! <laughs> He's a little devil now. Look at that. All right, this next idea is super fun. How'd you come up with that? Okay, well, this, this is a fun, messy thing, but don't kids love to do messy things? Mm -hmm. So last year, we thought, well, let's just do a string egg. So this is so simple, but like okay, I said, Lynn, I'm just wondering, okay, how your brain works. So, you know what? Let's do a string egg. <laughs> about that? How did you just come up with that? Well, you know, we did, I used to be a teacher and we did a lot of decoupage and stuff like that. Ah. So you just kind of, now the key to this is get a balloon and blow it up any size you want your quote egg to be. And you can put a little chocolate or candy inside there if okay. you want to, or just blow it up. But find this, you can get the string. Oh, and what, one thing I did want to tell you, these flower pots you can get anywhere, and I saw them at Michael's yesterday at 50% off. Okay, FYI. there you go. Okay, <laughs> so get some string, but you don't want to cut them too long because you don't want it to get tangled up, and, and all this is is liquid starch. 
okay? So put your string in here and just get it wet, all right? And then you're just going to start rolling it around your balloon. Now, you can just turn the balloon. Yeah, it doesn't have to be any kind you don't of shape even or have anything. To, no, yeah. no. And just roll, 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 roll. Okay, and you can just and uh, you can do multicolors like you see some of those like that. Yeah. And then start with your next string and just you know put it here, and and I won't do. I think yeah, one's put, enough. Just put it, yeah. on a, on a, put like it on a, here yeah. so it has something to drip onto. And then what happens the next day? I got a safety pin somewhere. Oh, here. okay. Well, the next day and it, you'll yeah, pop that yeah. balloon and it'll come out. Look, I'm trying to pop it. Right I there. Have here we go. We're gonna pop it. There you oh, go. Oh, there you go. Oh, good. See, it helps to have nails. <laughs> yeah, right. It. And then you can just pull this balloon out. Okay. Yeah, and there you go. And there That's you very cool. Is that not so like, cute? I've seen things kind of like this at the store for sale and like, you know, for a yeah. good chunk of money. And you can make your own, any color that you want. Now, what was the type of string that you used? I, it, you, you just get it. It's just thin um, thread yeah. it at Michael's okay. or Hobby Lobby. They've yeah. got all different types. They've got pink, yellow, blue, whatever one you want. Yeah. And you could use, I mean, you can use any um, yarn or string. Yeah, and again, the point was you put the um, actual chocolate yeah, in the balloon. Yeah, and this one had chocolate yeah. in it. So Love that. All right. And then this would not. And lastly, kind of your place setting. Well, that's down here. again, we did this last year. We love to always have place cards when we have mm -hmm. a, a family dinner. So the kids made these and put people, their names on them, and those were the place cards. Uh, but you know, you could also make these a little smaller and use them as. Napkin, napkin rings. rings. There oh. you go. I One like how you think, Lynn. Yes. All right. So. Lynn's book, At Ease, A Salute to Creative Entertaining, is available online. One dollar from every cookbook sold is donated to military family programs. We have a link on our site, greatdayhouston.com.